Ah, I remember you. I pray we have not caught you at an inopportune moment. We wanted to offer our thanks for your kind words in the forum. Well, I could hardly let that Inquisition go unchallenged. I've always believed that curiosity should be nurtured, not stifled. Thankfully, a majority of my colleagues agreed. A slender majority, aye, but a majority nonetheless. Had the vote not gone our way, we would be having a very different conversation, if any at all. Though I'd like to think you would have not given up on our cause. I'm told you paid a visit to the Annex afterwards. Yes, that's right. I was hoping to speak with the grandchildren of my dearly departed friends Gallif and Louisois in a less doer setting. But it seems I just missed you. I still can't believe how much you've grown. If only your grandsires could have seen the way you presented yourselves to the Forum. Why, it fair brought a tear to my own eye. You must have the patience of a saint, putting up with this lot and their antics. Never mind Matoya's prize student. Luckily, I know a thing or two about managing unruly younglings. If you ever need advice, don't hesitate to ask. If I may, there is a rather more pressing matter we wish to discuss. What can you tell us of this duty that the Forum must fulfill? Nothing, I'm afraid. Like all humble servants of the Forum, I am sworn to secrecy. Or rather, I couldn't tell you if I tried. Our duty is of the gravest importance. Furthermore, if the particulars were made public, it would incite widespread panic. As such, those entrusted with this duty have been bound by an enchantment, which prevents us from speaking of such matters without the express permission of the Forum. How is that even po <laughs> It's been some time since I last gave a lecture. Please, take a seat. We shall begin by reviewing the fundamentals of etherology. The ether, which imbues us with life, can be categorized into three forms. Two are of the incorporeal sort, the soul and the memory. Can anyone tell me the third? Yes, very good. This is the form with which the layman is most familiar. Consumed by even the simplest of daily activities,